Hello! In this video I'm going to show you the features of Protomus and help you to understand how it works. First and foremost, the purpose of Protomus Freelance is to help you with administrative tasks, like keeping records of your projects, storing files, tracking deadlines, creating and sending invoices to customers, controlling the payments from them, and also generating financial reports on your work. Protomos is not a CAD tool, so you cannot use it for translating the text. Also, Protomos is not a job search portal, so you will not get any jobs from Protomos system if you just register your account, because you'll need to get your clients from elsewhere. Now let's get started. Protomos is an online system, which means that you do not have to download and install anything. Just go to the website protomus.com and register your account like you register on any other portal by clicking this pink Create Protomus Account button. Then you'll need to select the account type. In this video we are selecting Freelance Account, which does not let you subcontract any jobs to other translators, but lets you administer your own business. After you enter all basic information about yourself, the system will ask you a few simple questions. What services you provide, what languages you work with, in which units you measure your work, your specializations, your currencies, and the payment methods that uh, you'd prefer to use in your invoices. Don't be afraid to miss anything, because you'll be able to edit it in the system settings anytime. This is how system interface looks. Before you start creating the project, you need to create clients. So you go and press new client button and then you fill all the compulsory fields to get the client into your database. If you have a long list of clients, you do not really need to enter each of them manually. You can import them from Excel spreadsheet. Just go to Excel, download Excel template, open it, populate the fields, the cells, and import it back into the system. Now, this is how the client profile looks. It has several tabs. On general info, you enter the basic information about the company, like company name, zones, addresses, uh, etc. Also, you define the finance settings for this client, because you can select with which, in which currency this client should pay. Uh, which payment methods should be used, how soon they should pay, and in which language you need to generate the invoices. Contact persons tab is uh, intended for entering any contacts related with these clients. And in, on prices tab you can record the prices that you have agreed with this client. And on documents, you may upload any kind of files like contracts, standard instructions, NDAs, etc. Now let's have a look at the quotes. Quote is a potential project that you may get from a client. Imagine that the client contacts you, sends you a file to translate, but asks you how much it will cost and when you can deliver. So you need to create a quote for them. Let's do it. Just select the name of the code, select the client, define the language pairs, the specialization, and the deadline when you can deliver this translation. 
here we are we have created the quote next we need to upload the files that we have received from the client if the client has sent any files of course um, and enter the amount that we want to charge them let's enter for example five hundred dollars for translation that's it so the quote uh, is uh, ready we can download PDF file of the quote and send it to the client by email or we can uh, send the quote to, e to the client directly from the system interface as you can see the system generates the message based on the information that you have entered and also attaches the PDF quote PDF file in, to, to the to the message so you can push send and the quote is sent to the client next we have to wait for the client's response uh, because they will get this quote by email and uh, in the end if they say no then you may cancel this, this quote but if they uh, say you go ahead you may convert it to project you may skip quote and step if you know for sure that the project is 100 percent yours in that case you may just create the project the project creation is similar to quote creation so i will save your time and skip this part i'll jump to the project itself this is how the project page looks the most important tabs here are the general in information details files and finances on details tab you enter the most basic information like uh, the languages the deadline uh, the client on files you may upload the files that you receive from the client for translation and by the way apart from the files you may also add urls so you may easily uh, store the files in some other place like in google drive or dropbox or any other cloud storage but still attach the links to, to those files here on finances you may enter the receivables this is how much the client is going to pay to you um, you may enter flat rate as i've shown you before or you may enter unit based rate for example you may enter the number of units select unit type uh, and enter the rate by the way the system is multi-currency so you may use different currencies for the same client and uh, in the same system and it converts to the to the basic currency of your account uh, let me just show you the currencies so here are the currencies and you may select the default currency of your account and all values will be converted to that default currency but let's go back to the project so when you complete the project you may upload the file the files that you deliver to the customer here just to have them stored uh, for your future reference of course if you need this and you may complete the project that's it but not completely because now we have to make the client pay right you can do it directly on finances tab of the project by selecting the receivables that you want to invoice okay for example let's create the invoice for this amount 
here we are the invoice has been generated uh, on invoice page you may add any kind of discounts markups also you may uh, add um, taxes if you need it and you can download this invoice as PDF file that's it you may send this invoice by email just like with quotes or you may send it directly from the system again the system generates the message and you can send this message to the client then you'll have to wait until they pay and when they pay you create payment the payment could be partial or complete and in case if the payment payment is complete then the invoice is considered fully covered by the way the system sends you a notification about deadlines which means in case if uh, for example some client does not pay you in time or you do not enter the payment into the system then you'll get the notification that uh, some some invoice is overdue and you have to take care about it and contact the client or the system can send you the project reminders in case if you do not deliver something in time do not mark the project as completed the system will remind you as well also on every page you may have uh, filters you can see there are lots of uh, criteria how you can search the how you can search the projects for example if you want um, hide the projects which are not active yet not to distract you may just select active checkbox and that's here we are we have the project the projects which are in this status you may search for overdue project search by PO by by description by name by client by lots of things you can search every any piece of data for example you may search for overdue invoices just go here and select overdue invoices yes and apply um, or overdue invoices no and apply so to cut it short you can search in anything that you enter into the system quickly and easily and you can also export any data that you have in the system into excel spreadsheet so here we have as an example the list of the of the projects and i'm exporting them to excel that's it You can use this spreadsheet for whatever purposes. And the last feature that I'd like to show to you are the financial reports. Here you can see how much you are making each month. Track your sales for each client. Check what services bring you most of bring the most of your earnings you are getting a clear picture of your business from financial perspective that's it oh let me show you the reports for clients yeah here we see the monthly income per each client here in this example i have just one client in my database so it does not look so impressive as it, as it should but i guess you you understand the point well that's all i tried to be as quick in this demo as possible did not go deep into detail to discover more you may go you may click help menu and um select quick start guide on quick start guide guide you'll be able to get the de detailed information and instructions about each step 
These instructions are in video format on YouTube and they are really quick. It's just two or three minutes for each of them. So it should not take much of your time, but it will save a lot of your time by looking at them. And of course, you may always contact support. In Help Menu, you have support button. So whatever questions you might be having, just do not hesitate. Click contact support and ask us. Thank you for your attention. Bye.